There is a point down there just around the bend that you can't see. I don't know why both times now I've come up here it's given me the fucking creeps. It's uh it's a very steep section, very closed in by the trees, very dense, but more than anything it's the fact that there's no birds singing. I mean we've got them here, go down that pathway, there's no birds. Ah, fucking bizarre. I don't know why, but it just triggers my fight or flight. I feel every pulse in my body like going, run. No, stop, fight, run. No, 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 fight, stop, no, run. And it's just like you feel it in your face, your hands, your legs. It's like, oof. I don't know why just down there. This is the latest edition in the Piss Be Gone Booties line. Two of the finest Asda bags you can buy. Let's try and tackle this old nemesis. I'm hoping it's not as bad back there as it was. Uh, the jets are out. Must be in the next valley over. Anyway. Beat off for a film. Hopefully catch you in a little bit. Whew, not perfect, but fucking good effort. I'm onto the uh, drier stuff now. The jets are still about. Obviously can't see them. I'm not going to lie to you good people, I'm not enjoying this anymore. My shape is just, I'm not right anymore. My body's just not handling this. I've, I've exceeded 12 miles today easily. Uh, I foolishly thought that the three mile ride, uh, sorry, the three mile walk from home to the station and then the rest on the train would set me like reset me so I was only doing like eight nine miles but I was r royally wrong because I'm actually I don't know if you can tell I'm fucked uh, right leg hurts to put weight on it left leg hurts to extend which makes life tricky uh, my fucking back and my shoulders oh my god this is a great pack, but it's shit for balancing. Like you can't put all your weight in the middle of it because the weight stuff doesn't fit with the bulk around it. You know, your lightweight bulk. It's a narrow, tall pack. It does not bode well for anything of like weight in the middle of your back. I will have to try and rejig it for tomorrow and see if I can sort it out a way that it makes it easier. Maybe have more padding on my shoulders if I can. But <sighs> it's cut into me something rotten. I'll do a video when I set up a tent because... The plan, believe it or not, was to get to the back of those trees, same as last time, and set up a tent there. But I've literally just spent the better part of, I don't know, 40 minutes, 50, no, over an hour now, getting through those trees, because they're all bogged down, getting up this hill, which is all bogged down. My piss -be gone booties have ripped completely and they're now useless and I've actually just helped store water in the boots so they're no longer piss be gone they're just piss and I'm trying to make it to the top of this little hill where all this grass is and if I turn I think it's left there's an old structure with a load of grass near it if I can at least get to there it should be dry I can set up my tent and then I can just do videos and cook food and then just sleep as for crossing the mountains tomorrow, I don't know if you can see the one that's over there in the distance beyond the trees. I've got a horrible sneaking feeling that the one I meant to go over was just like that. 
If that's the case, I'm going to walk to my ascending point anyway, assess, and if needs be, I'll bug out and drop down into Bethesda via the A5 and just get the fuck out of Dodge, because uh, if I was hearing correctly earlier on from some people that I was talking to uh, near Betsy Coed, they've had to rescue someone off the mountain last night. But their details were very vague, so I don't know if I believe. <sighs> right, that's enough resting, you fat cunt. Let's go. All I'm going to officially say is it's all gone horribly wrong. Um, my fish be gone booties failed, as you know. Uh, my waterproof boots aren't. They simply just aren't. So my feet are soaking wet. Um, I've got something to improvise to go in my boots for tomorrow to get out of here. But that's about all I've got. Um, as you can see by the light levels, it, it just like completely got me. Um, I made... A really bad decision i had what could be classed as a camping area but i thought it might be flooded by tomorrow morning so i thought best to pull out of there and what i thought was going to be a dry spot is actually just another a bog this is the dry spot i found all day i've had to go an extra mile so i've actually done 13 and a half miles to get to this point i'm now trying to get some food cooked so that i won't you know go into the effects of, you know, exposure and all that. A uh, little tent is up and I'm literally going to eat, try and get a last message off to my partner to let her know that I'm alive and safe. And then first thing in the morning I'm bugging out. I'm going to head down the mountain straight ahead, around the lake, straight down onto the A5 and straight into Bethesda. And then see if I can't scam a lift down to Bangor or get a taxi. It's just, it's, it's gone horribly wrong from, I was actually quite optimistic until I got to the point I got to last time and I struggled. I got to that point and it just went horribly wrong. Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. I don't know how your evening's going. I got some bacon on the go. This doesn't take away from the fact that I'm fucking miserable, but this will go a long way to actually assisting in my mental state. Don't you dare stick to the pan. Naughty bacon! <laughs>